where some charities just sort of really um, were kind of nervous and weren't that helpful and when I was writing a piece for them. And in that situation as a journalist, there's like not really that much you can do if they don't want to speak to you, especially when there's some loads of amazing organisations that will. The media need you know, survivors of abuse to talk to to do their stories and we're kind of keen as a charity that it gets press coverage but then they want to interview the people who are with us with us because they need help by definition the people that you're working with are working through their stuff um, and it's really really hard so it's a case of um, when is it when is a good time for somebody to choose to go public as a, as a survivor I want a support agency to be part of that decision but it's really hard for them. But I do think that that's a really important thing that we need to, to fix because I don't want survivors to do this unsupported. Yeah. But I also don't want charities to exploit their client group so they yeah. get coverage, which they wouldn't do. This is why it's not happening. Um, I'm hoping that there will be more who are willing to speak up. And I think that hopefully, I think that culture will, this, this culture of you know, having festivals like this and seeing blogs and all that will hopefully start to change the sense of um, shame and stigma that maybe prevents other survivors from speaking up. But I mean, I, I tend to think it should be survivor-led. I don't think that actually is a good choice for everybody and yeah, I think it's a yeah. choice that people should be supported in making and it can be a good choice when you make it but a terrible choice two years later and it's kind of too late then so it is, it is a big deal. Um, all I did in that situation was just try and say, well, I can kind of talk through your quotes with you beforehand if you're really nervous about how they're portrayed or show you other articles I've done. But yeah, as you said, ultimately there's not much you can do in that situation.